Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. The feminist movement uh, is, a, is a movement that is meant to uh, that is meant to regain the rights of women. To regain the rights of women. Normally we have to understand that uh, women were not given their rights in the Victorian in the in the Victorian age or even before the Victorian age. What rights and equal terms the the the, the, the women had to seek and run after? إيش الحقوق اللي كانوا يبحثون عنها يا خوات؟ خليكم معايا. ما هي الحقوق اللي يتكلمون عنها؟ Feminist movement is a movement for women. حركة نسوية لاسترداد حقوق المرأة. متى هذا الكلام قلنا؟ In the Victorian time in the Victorian period of time. مثل ايش حقوق المرأة؟ المرأة at that time women were not given rights to inherit for inheritance for example. No time, no right for inheritance. منعت من حق ايش؟ الارث. منعت من حق الارث. No rights to uh, for prop sorry no rights for uh, uh, for ownership. Women cannot own houses. Women cannot own Money for to buy uh, land states, pieces of land, or flats, or cars, or companies, or factories. Ownership, they call it the right of ownership. You following me? Women were not given the right uh, for equality, or let's say uh, for equity with men in terms of working hours. In fact, women were given the longest period of working hours. They used to work for 18 hours a day. Imagine a woman working in a factory or in a workshop or in a mine for 18 hours a day. Which is really long and unbearable. It's a fatiguing number of hours. Nobody can bear working these number of hours in a continuous, uh, in a continuous basis of days, in a continuous basis. So the feminist movement—it's a movement uh, inaugurated and um, uh, and uh, started to claim and demand for the women' rights of ownership, of inheritance, of a decent life, and against. Against what, sisters? Against uh, sexual harassment. Sexual harassment, which is, uh, which is a result of co-working. They, remember, they, they, uh, uh, co-working means the, you know, women and men can work in the same place. And normally, sexual harassment can, can take place in, 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 in such working. So women would, would demand their freedom, but at the same time, they would claim uh, security against men who would find no problem to assault them or to at least harass them during work. معروف الاختلاط يا اخوات ايش ينتج عنا؟ You got that? Shall I speak in Arabic? Should I speak in Arabic? الاختلاط ينتج عنه كثير من الامور امور الفساد والفسق فطبيعي ان يكون هناك نساء ورجال يعملون ساعات طويله ان يكون هناك اعتداءات او تحرشات جنسيه ولا لا Are you following? طيب uh, the women of the also the women movement or the feminist movement claim طالبوا demand طالبوا بالحاح ايش they needed security against men's harassment. Why? Because both sexes work in the same place, which is unacceptable. Which is unacceptable. You following that? Now, when did these movements saw the light? During the Victorian age. I think we discussed this in the last lecture about how much freedom were given to men and women, right? Many movements saw the light because freedom was given Freedom of expression, freedom of press, freedom of art, right? Freedom of party or partisanship. All of these freedom was given, were given to the Victorian people. During what? During the Victorian time. Any question about this? 
Any question about this statement? All right. Another characteristic. Let's go to second number or to the second uh, uh, second major important of uh, uh, characteristics of Victorian poetry is the strict morality, strict morality and respectability, and the avoidance of explicit treatment of sex. Victorian poetry was to a far extent a conservative society. مجتمع إيش أخوات؟ مجتمع متحفة where morality was still held up among people working people, citizens or never or, or otherwise متحفظ من جهة الأخلاق الأمور الدينية الأخلاق عفوا مش الدينية الأخلاقية You're following me? So uh, normally uh, ex expressing uh, or uh, Clear expressing, explicit treatment, explicit treatment of sex was uh, usually avoided in uh, uh, in public writing or in public speeches. Writers and speakers would avoid treatment of sex in their writings. ما كان في حرية يا أخوات طبعا موجود حرية كتابة حرية الشكاوي حرية تصحيح الأوضاع Reformation speeches Reformation books and novels but not sexual uh, implicit implicit or, implicit or explicit expressions no explicit or implicit sexual expressions بالتالي التلميحات والمشاهد أو الأوضاع اللي هي فيها إشارة إلى علاقة العلاقة بين الجنسين علاقة المحرمة كانت نوعا ما مختفية عن كثير من الكتابات وهذا شيء يحمد له هذا شيء يحمد له تحمد له هذه الفترة عكس الـ 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 الوضع الذي صار إلى أو الذي انتهى إليه كتابات كثير من كتاب العصر الحداثة اللي سوف نتناقشه إن شاء الله في المقررات القادمة Is that clear? Alright Well, why did why did this why was this you know um, why was this a phenomenon? No explicit treatment because most of the writers or let's say they were Puritan ideals. كانت هناك مثل مثل متطهرون يعني كانت هناك سكت أو ما يسموها طائفة دينية تسمى ال Puritans المتطهرون وكانت لهم مثل عليا أخلاقية بالاحتفاظ بحشمة you know to keep to stay decent and modest. As you talk or as you write, people still, you know, held up to, uh, sorry, held tight to um, moral ethics and uh, and um, social traditions. So uh, the middle class was rising. Literature had to satisfy its needs. The influence of the middle class Puritanism is most clear in the novels. واضح إنه في الروايات. اللي كتبت في هذا العصر تأثير إيش يا أخوات الميدل كلاس بيوريتانيزم ميدل كلاس بيوريتانيزم اللي هي البيوريتانية الخاصة بالميدل كلاس التحفظية والمحتفظة بإيش يا أخوات بالقيم الأخلاقية بالحشمة بين الجنسين سواء كتاب أو أو عمال خليكم معي يا أخوات Are you following me? Do you have any difficulty understanding any concept? No problems? Shall I go on? فالنقطة الثانية هو إيش تأثر الكتاب الفيكتوريين بإيش؟ ب الاتجاه المحافظ في الكتابة هذا جملة يعني جملة ما أريد أن أفهم من هذه النقطة مفهوم يا أخوات؟ لماذا؟ Novels were commonly read aloud in family gatherings. هنا السر يا أخوات هنا السبب. Shall I underline it? Let's underline it. Novels were commonly read aloud in family gatherings. زي ما today, as we today we have it, we have movies and uh, TV dramas displayed in gatherings and family gatherings. At that time, novels were read. They were read publicly. In public, in front of the family members, so uh, writers would prefer their novels to be widespread, and that's why they had to make them 
a, a bit decent and, and avoid uh, uh, explicit expressions of sexual uh, relationships between the two sexes. And as now I can see and I can hear the, the the buses honking. Can you hear the buses honking? See? Can you hear that? Well, it's the time to go, right? Isn't it? Shall we, shall we stop here or continue the point here? I'll continue the point. I'll leave the bus drivers crazy and pulling their hair. I don't mind. So, um, topics who, that might embarrass young girls. All right, are you following? Topics. Topics. No, writers, novelists would avoid all topics that might embarrass. يحج ماضي أو مشاهد أو ما أو أو يعني مشاهد يعني تحرج ال ال النشأ الصغير في السن. Young girls and boys, these topics and scenes are what avoided. Why taboos? They are called they are called taboos. What are taboos? Prohibited things, forbidden things, and or disallowed things. Disallowed stuff and speech and acts. You following me? All right. Uh, this is uh, where I have to stop now. I think uh, no questions can be uh, raised about this point. Any questions? اتفقنا على أنه كتابات الفكتورية كانت إيش أخوات بالعربي فيها شيء من الحشمة متحفظين ها بعيدين. عن أو يبتعدون أو يتحاشون إيش يا أخوات كل ما يجرح ويخدش الحياة عند قصار السن Is that clear? Okay Do you think I have to okay. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك I have to stop over here